What is going on everybody? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be making a tutorial on how to install uh, custom fonts to H1Z1 King of the Kill or Just Survive I believe. I'm not sure how that works but I know this works for King of the Kill specifically. A lot of people have been doing this on stream and I see a lot of people typing in streams. Uh, how do you do this? Uh, show me how to do this. Make a tutorial etc etc. So I wanted to make this for anybody who's looking it up. So Let's go ahead and get into it. So you will need a font. Now, um, you can go to any, you can Google fonts or just go to defont.com. It's a good, very, very good website to get fonts. And we are going to get, uh, actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and use Bebus New. I think that's how you pronounce it. I remember using this font back in the day. So uh, go ahead and download it. Download any font you want and save it to the desktop. Now we got the font, go ahead and open it up and you'll see this. Just go ahead and double click on it and hit install. I already have it. I'll just replace it. So go ahead and install it. Now what you want to do is go to your game file. So go ahead and open up Steam and find King of the Kill. Go to properties, local files, browse local files. And as you can see here, it is. Once you're in this, go to uh, UI, resource fonts and here are the fonts so this is what you want to do go ahead and make a new folder once you do that drag all these fonts go ahead and click them and drag them into that folder now I already actually have the original fonts in this folder over here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that but uh, once you do that you can go ahead and delete all these fonts inside the folder and then now what you want to do is grab your font uh, that you just downloaded or that you have you can go to to view all your fonts, you can go um, to start and just type in fonts, open this up, and then once it loads up, you can go ahead and pick the font that you want, but we already got this one here. So now here comes the kind of confusing part. What you need to do is clone these. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you want to drag this in here uh, 11 times. So we're going to go ahead and copy it. And paste 11 times. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, what we need to do is start renaming them to the original fonts. So, as you can see, we'll work our way down, copy that, paste it, go on to the next one, copy it. By the way, if you slow double click on the fonts, that's how you can get them to show up. You don't have to right click and go to rename. So just keep doing that for all of them. Go down the list. And simply do that. And when I'm done, I will come back and uh, show you what to do next. All right. So we are on the last font here. Go ahead and rename it. And then we're done. We can go ahead and close out of the backup fonts. And we can close out of the H1Z1 fonts. And then after that, you can just go ahead and load it up. So let's go ahead and load it up. And I'll show you that it has changed. Well, guys, it looks like Bebus New, don't download that, is invalid for the game. You will get this sometimes if the font is not compatible with the game at all. So you will have to change it. And I will change it and show you that it does actually work. One sec. All right, guys. So here is the new fonts. Like I said, Bebus new however you say it was not compatible with the game so i did a little crazy one that looks a little weird just to show you guys that it does look different so you guys can see the difference rather um it's called 28 days later if you're interested in using it i'm not really sure how to use it. i don't know if i really like it eh, probably not but let's go ahead and get into a game and show you that everything's changed waiting for somebody to die here so you can see it There you go. As you can see in the kill feed top left, it shows uh shows up as the font. So let me know if you find if you guys know a good font that I could try, and uh, I will continue looking for some more. Just like I said, go to thefont.com or something like that, and uh, you should be able to find a good font. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, definitely drop a like down below. And my phone is ringing. But yeah, drop a like down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.